I guess I'm a relatively newcomer to the compound world. So I've only been doing it for maybe two or three years now. Uh, and I think there's a lot of misconceptions about what happens at cons, I think, for actors. And I didn't know what to expect until I started doing them. But uh, it's just like, you know, it's a love fest. It's like, it's great. It's people celebrating, uh, you know, all that is awesome. And uh, I think as an actor, you spend most of your life where people don't really give two shits about what you're doing so it's always nice to, to, to come and talk to people who actually care and who actually watch your stuff and you know have some sort of passion for things you've done rather than you know people who don't care so yeah I've, I've, I've had a blast and uh, Manchester is a cool city I've gotten to see a little bit but we had some a couple couple meals a little fish and chips you know a little full English in the morning uh, you know, but yeah it's uh, it's cool I actually really like the um this uh, this this venue is like mm-hmm. kind of cool. It's like a Harry Potter. I don't know. You know, it just looks really cool. I'm st- I'm st- I stole I stole yeah, that was that was Coral's quote right there. But yeah, it's a, it's a cool building. Uh, a train station. Mm-hmm. A train station. Well, it's a good thing I came here on time and got my train. <laughs> <laughs> What's been the highlight of your career? Uh, that I have one. Uh, you know that's probably the highlight of my career Uh, you know uh, there's so many highlights to be honest Um, I really love acting so essentially every time I get to act I I really enjoy it and that's kind of a highlight but um, you know I think Black Sails was a really special show it was its like own kind of little world and uh, that was really special but there's lots of special moments like that I mean I really love I've I've loved every show I've worked on uh, so I mean, it's just actors are really cool and I get to hang out and work with a lot of them. Um, I think maybe one of the biggest highlights in my career is probably just getting to work with people who I'm a fan of. Like, you know, when you're a fan of someone and then you actually get to work with them, um, that's, that's pretty cool. And that's happened so many times. I mean, it's, it's hard to really say, but I kind of, uh, I, I recently did a movie with Danny Glover that was just really just so cool. This He's just you know, he's like still not too old for this shit somehow. <laughs> this is amazing. So, yeah. I'm curious when you meet the people here who are passionate about your work, are there common questions that fans tend to ask things that they seem to want to talk about more than anything else? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I get a lot of different questions, um, but kind of, uh, I guess because I play a lot of different kind of characters, I get a lot of questions about, um, you know, everyone's always kind of like, disappointed that I don't talk like my characters or something like I feel like that's mostly I'm just like disappointing you know to them. Like, you know they're like but you're so cool on TV and uh, you're so lame in person like you know it's kind of the, the, cl- the classic one uh, I feel like I get um, I also just get uh, a lot of um, a lot of questions I think from like younger actors I feel like a lot of uh, you get a lot of questions of like how do you do this and you know I, my answer is usually pretty much the same like just like you just do it like it's like Nike you know, just do it and you don't take no for an answer and you keep going um, but I get, yeah, I get a lot of questions about vocal stuff um, I get a lot of questions about my hair like people it's really weird like people because like I guess people you know you shoot something like months before people see it and then like you know like I think like by the time like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was airing, like my hair was already like longer again because my hair goes really fast. So people were like, did you cut it or in a wig? Like, ran- like you just get such random like funny questions, uh, like things that you didn't think of that, you know, that would be interesting. But, you know, I get a lot of different, a lot of different questions. I try to answer them the best I can without rambling, but obviously I ramble. You spoke about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. Um, with different acting, like different paths, what's next for you? Oh, what's next? Um, you know, I, it's so funny because there's always this like, there's always this, I guess, this perception that like actors just get to like choose what's next for them. Um, but it's just so not the way that really works. Um, so what's next? I mean, like what's next that you will see has probably already been shot. And what's next for me is stuff that I probably won't be able to talk about until somebody at a PR company tells me I'm allowed to talk about it. <laughs> um, so, uh, 
I'm, uh, I've got a couple irons in the fire on some new things and uh, a couple things I'm doing. Uh, but the next thing I think I'm actually shooting, I can't tell you about because uh, the pilot I did uh, called LA's Finest uh, got picked up and it's shooting in, uh, in, in LA in a couple of months. I think it starts shooting in the end of August, uh, which is just around the corner already. Um, and uh, that's like a, it's like a bad boys spinoff TV show where they've, kind of revisioned it with uh with female leads and uh i don't know if you've seen it but gabrielle union and uh, jessica alba are playing kind of the the you know the the, the main title kind of roles in it um and it's uh it, the pilot came out really great um and i'm excited to to go have fun with them it shoots in los angeles so it's not even it doesn't even really feel like work when you work in los angeles as an actor because you're because like I mean, acting work is very difficult and, and, and has its own challenges and whatnot. But if you love it and you're, it's fun, you know, it, uh, like I don't, I love acting. So like it's, it's more like the, the traveling that's the work and the like, you know, staying in shape for things that's the work. Um, the, the actual playing is just, is fun. So it shoots in LA. So it's like literally, I mean, it just feels like I'm playing, you know, and I'm like, oh, I'll just go down there and play. It's great. So yeah, that's, that's not be the next thing I'm shooting. Um, although there's just odd chance I might be going to Rome very soon too. Also, I don't, you know, there's so like, there's as an actor, there's like literally like things that like, you know, they, they say you, 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 you don't know what's actually happening until you're there doing it. And then you don't even know it's going to happen until they announce it because they can always change things up on you and whatnot, or just cut you out or change your recast or all kinds of things. So, you know, uh, What's next for me? More acting. <laughs> <laughs> if, um, if you had to choose someone to work with an actor that's dead, who would you, who would you love to work with? Ooh, that's dead. Um, <laughs> I mean, I've gotten to work with a lot of uh, a, a, a lot of greats, but if I mean, there's so many people I'd I'd work with who are who are no longer with us. Um, you know, I was like a huge Robin Williams fan, like just such a big fan of his my whole life. Um, and just so impressed with, with the scope of what he's able, to, what he was able to convince people of on camera uh, and off camera. And just, you know, I mean, like, I mean, just like things like Miss Doubtfire, you're like, wow, I mean, he actually pulled that off. It's like, it's a really hard stuff to pull off. Um, I mean, he, he, as an adult man played a little boy in Jack, you know, like that's just, amazing you know um so i think he'd probably be one uh of of kind of like the top of my list and uh you know he was obviously he was really sad uh, to see him go uh recently but he'd probably be up there at the top uh and also just i uh, just feel like i want to sit in the cast tent with him and listen to him talk for hours just okay love him. Yeah. uh but yeah there's more but you know him is one of them I'm talking about childhood wish fulfillment. Obviously, you know, when you're a little person growing up, you dream of getting to be a superhero or a pirate. Um, is that part of the appeal of working particularly in, in genre shows, that you get to live out those fantasies, you get to be those kind of heroes? Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, it's funny because playing heroes and playing villains, you know, there's there's like a difference to to it. I, I I mean, but I think all actors in some ways, you know, it's it's the, the inner child in you that kind of drives the 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 desire to do this. You know, I mean, I'm a grown man with like children, and I play make believe for a living. So you know, there's some sort of child clearly still inside of me. Um, but yeah, the genre stuff. I think you just there's just things you can't do in. In, in in projects that aren't genres, whether it's hero stuff, whether it's superpowers, all that. Um, I've actually never really had any superpowers yet. I'm looking forward. I'm, I'm just doing like me usually. I, I'm looking forward to one day that they just like give me the ability to just do some shit with my hand. <laughs> you know, I have to punch him in the face or something and get punched in the face. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that's, uh, you know, that's something I look forward to. And I think every, everyone likes, I mean, the genres just cool. I mean, when it's pulled off and you really, and you really enter, you know, these kind of worlds, it's amazing uh, what you can do and then how, how grounded you can make it. So, uh, yeah, some, somewhere in there might be an answer. I don't know. 
Who's your ultimate hero, like super or otherwise? Like who I would want to play, or like the, just the hero? Just like I like the person you probably admire the most. Like, I mean, there's no hero. question about it. But Wolverine is the best person who ever had powers, in my opinion. Uh, you know, I've never been a Superman fan, really, um, as much or like. You know, like I think you can give someone too many powers, and then they're no longer interesting. Um, and that's a problem I have with Superman. Like, he's just not vulnerable enough to me. Um, like, I always loved Batman because he was, like, he, he, just, he was rich and he had some cool toys. But when it came down to it, it was just a person in there, uh, in, in, the, in the suit. Um, Wolverine was, I mean, Wolverine I always loved the most because, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't really have a superpower. He's just really tough. Like, you know, that's his superpower is that he's... You know, he, he regenerates, yeah, but, but in reality, he's just really tough. Um, like, he's just, like, the toughest regenerator. You know, he, he's the person who, who can constantly get back up when he's knocked down. And that's what I, I guess, I mean, that's what a hero is to me, is really, like, someone who, because someone who doesn't get knocked down, like, it's like, well, all right, there's no stakes. You're just, you're just going to steamroll over everyone, and there's no, there's no, there's no danger to it. Um, so that's why he, you know, Wolverine has just always been my favorite. I don't know why. Also, because maybe there's like a slim chance I might get to play him one day or something. So. <laughs> that's probably your ultimate career ambition, then. For sure, yeah. If I could play Wolverine, I did. They, I think. I think. I, yeah, I mean, I say this now. I think I'd be like, I'm done, I'm done acting, you know, whatever. But um, I probably wouldn't. I'd just be really happy that I got to do it and then be doing everything else I could do, too. So that's just who I am. I want to say, obviously, you've been in Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. If you could, I don't know if you can answer this, actually, but if you could trade any DC character to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., who would it be? Any DC character? Well, I mean, I really like Batman. <laughs> you know, so I feel like Batman would be would be great in there. Uh, you know, I I've always liked Batman. You know, it's it's just it's awesome. Although you know, it's funny. My 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 favorite superhero thing too. Um, I guess I could kind of amend it because even though I'm not that big of a Superman fan, it turns out I'm actually a huge Wonder Woman fan, which I don't know why that is, but because uh, I don't think they didn't present her as being as invulnerable as Batman as, uh, as Superman is like she was vulnerable like she you know you met her as a little girl and she was training and all those things but mostly I think that one was the best for me just because I have daughters and just kind of watching them watch that was really emotional so you know. I think we've been told we have to let you go in a minute but I guess the last question yeah. um, obviously you're meeting fans here today and talking about emotional have you had any particularly special encounters with fans over the years you know people who've really been affected by things you've done yeah yeah um, these these uh, events you you do run into that a lot um, really emotional kind of uh, responses from people and, uh, and people who are very touched by your work or inspired by what you do uh, and that I mean that always actually you know makes these things quite worth it because it's really easy to forget the effect that like as an actor that you have, like, you know, that people see you in, you know, in the box and the TV and, and that, and they see you on social media and that you may be inspiring them for things that, and you're not even necessarily trying to do that. Like that's just happening, but, but you know, I'm, I'm just trying to like take care of my kids and family and, you know, save for their college and, you know, paint the house and you know <laughs> all the normal things that humans deal with and so you kind of you know, my mind goes to that but um, there's been a lot of experiences uh, at cons I haven't had a, a a huge one like that just yet here but I'm sure it'll, it'll come soon enough um, but yeah I mean when when you when you feel that you know get brought to you you know someone someone is, is really you know changed so you know since that you've affected positive change in someone is a really powerful thing uh and and it's it, it, it means a lot you know i hear i've heard actors be like you know oh i don't care about that I, I every time i hear that i'm like wow that's that's awesome you really like me little old me you know that's the way i feel about it um so yeah i've had i've had quite a few of, of those experiences there's also um it's also cool like when you see someone who cosplays a character you've played because that's just like I don't know it's like the ultimate form of flattery I guess um, for an actor in some ways in fact on uh, on Black Sails 
uh, I think there was a there was a Charles uh, cosplayer book before any other character that was like doing it, and like everyone was really like jealous that you know like like Toby was like, "Where's my fucking cosplay?" <laughs> and uh, and then then they kind of came, but it's it's really it's it's a special thing to to kind of see that and you know just to, to have any effect on people or or to to inspire people is just cool. So I'm happy to do it and happy to be here. I have to have you. I have to let you get back to France now. Thank you. Cool. Thank you.